Well, howdy doodly dandy there, chums. Tis I, captain of the station today, chums. For you guys, in the view of us, this is an all-encompassing guide for the living frigates. So, Dark Lord Zalric hit me up with the steps that you need to do, but the basic premise is you need to have at least three frigates in your fleet and also the command room. Sending them out on missions helps if you send them on separate type ones, but you need to have a three star mission with inside of that mix. So, to cover that, you might need more than the three frigates because, yeah, they might come back busted otherwise. So if you've got the three star mission active, it doesn't have to be the three star that you debrief. I'm debriefing a one star here and I get the dream aerial. The trick is you've got to have a three star active. So it needs to be in a green state or whatever. And you need to have a new mission running at the time that you do the debriefing. So you've got to have a mission in a blue state. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I put the actual image up on the screen and I've done a video on how to get the dream aerial in for working method, which I put at the top right hand corner of the screen. So you can see that in action. Here I'm just crafting the Dream Aerial. You only need to use the Dream Aerial once to get your second living frigate. I'll be telling you how to do that in this video. So stay tuned if you're wondering how to get your second living frigate and your Dream Aerial's not working for whatever reason. Righto, so when you're debriefing frigate missions and you've got a living ship with inside of that living frigate mission, there is a chance it might bring back parts for your living ship. But we'll get to that towards the end of this video as well people heck yes we will okay so after popping your dream aerial and installing it you're going to be pulsing in space and you're going to have this sort of thing going on in the bottom right hand corner and you're going to detect your first living frigate if you fly over to the living frigate and it does this where it just doesn't respond you don't get the opportunity to communicate with your living frigate which is kind of lucky because this one looks like it's been run over by a freaking steamroller or something it's got a very flat head hasn't it but yes i can't interact with it despite whatever i want to do no communicate options and i'm like okay well that's freaking broken as fudge now i actually popped this well in the same system as i installed my dream aerial shouldn't Shouldn't that make any difference, but I'm thinking that's the only thing that it could be. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to jump to another freaking system. And you can see that it actually selected another mission as well, Leap to the Dark. And I had other mission objectives appearing in the bottom right hand corner. Again, don't know whether that had anything to do with it. And I, I tried all sorts. I tried changing the mission. I tried re reloading with the day of discover the whole universe and whatever. Didn't work. So I just jumped to another system. And because the Dream Aerial hasn't been used and activated, it's a bit like, um, you know, when you find a derelict freighter, if you call in a derelict freighter, then ignore it and jump to another system, you can still pulse again and still use the same beacon. It roughly works in the same sort of way. So don't just throw away your Dream Aerial, just jump to another system. And when you engage your pulse drives, you'll notice that you start looking for enough of one of those sort of whales. It's like if you do find one that you don't like, you can just jump to another system and just start pulsing again and find the one that you do like. OK, well, unlucky me for a second time when I jumped to this system, there's a freaking freighter battle. It took me ages to get away from that freighter battle, engage my pulse drives and then boom, up comes another whale. And look at this one. This one looks freaking lovely. It's got a big, long, majestic tail. Much happier with this one. And it's letting me communicate. So there you go. If you can't communicate with it, don't worry. Jump to another system. Don't ditch the dream area. We'll just pulse again. And excellent. Hopefully it's going to work for you. So that's a nice little workaround. I've had a few people in my comments saying that this has been a thing for them. Anyway, you go through a load of dialogue trees. And depending on how you answer, depends on what stats you get given. I've actually been given one, 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 all the way down completely pulls that one up anyhow got this one recruited and then it tells you how to get your second one it says you can get rid of your dream aerial you don't need it anymore you need an anomaly detector how do you get an anomaly detector you need to start shooting some asteroids go and find yourself an asteroid belt inside of a system ringed planets the actual rings around the planet are actually made out of asteroids so if you can't find the asteroid belt go there but anyway find a load of asteroids shoot the asteroids you're going to be shooting them for quite some time I was shooting these asteroids for a good half an hour before my actual anomaly detector freaking popped. It can take ages. There it is, anomaly detector. Winner, winner. 
chicken dinner all the way to the freaking bank after you've got your anomaly detector it's a case of finding inside of your inventory space it should be in your ship inventory because you're shooting freaking asteroids in space in your ship there it is and i'll just press square on there to activate it and then it's a case of just using your pulse engines and as you're pulsing you're going to see various icons pop up you're going to be ignoring a grand swathe of these icons so the ones that you're going to see is one anomaly detected in space you're going to be ignoring this one ignore that one that looks like an atlas ignore it there's also derelict freighters that may spawn in i know freaking crazy and they look like a little weird shield type thing they look like something out of freaking transformers i think i get one in a moment so let's just see here you go there's a countdown at the bottom there it's going to tell you when the next anomaly is going to get detected roughly or thereabouts there you go that one doesn't it yeah that's ignore that one that's for derelict freighters. You don't want to be going aboard one of those, do you? No? Don't think so? No? 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 Cool. Awesome. Carry on pulsing then. Just ignore everything that you don't want and only hit the, to come out of pulse drive on the one that you do want. And the one that you do want looks like a little leviathan. It looks like a little spacey well. So, yeah, we're going to ignore you as well. Yes, anomaly detected. Hugh, sir, I'm not wanted. So we're just going to carry on pulsing and this can take a long time as well. I would suggest sticking on a podcast or something or, or I've been watching youtube -y type stuffage, you know, like other content creators. Heck yes, loads of stuff to watch. Hit up my... um. On my channel, go to channels I watch. Oh, here it is, here it is. There we go, boom. There you go, I've exited Pulse, and boom. Yes, we go to channels I watch. All of my No Man's Sky content creators I like to watch are there. You can just hit subscribe to all of them. It's freaking great. Anyhow, here we go, let's head on over. Let's talk to this majestic beastie. Head hey, majestic beastie. Brilliant, and I can interact, and you don't have to go through that whole dialogue tree. It's just a case of, yeah, inspect creature. Lovely jubbly. Yes, add to fleet. Now. They are C class here, aren't they? You know, but you can send them out on frigate missions. And sending them out on frigate missions, they're gonna slowly level up, just like other frigates do as well. So they're gonna go from a C class to a B class to an A class to an S. So yeah, just keep sending them out on missions. And I don't believe they cost frigate fuel to actually send them out on missions, no. And if they get broken, well, they go into a red state, you just need to feed them. And you can feed them to rejig their stats. But at the moment, I'm not 100% sure whether feeding them is actually working correctly. Because look, I'm going to feed this little one with the, like the cornflakes on his back. I'm going to give him some Grajam. Have that. You saw his stats are rejigged. They've gone to combat. Heck yes, I made him into a combat vessel. I'm going to choose a completely different one with a long wavy davy tail. I'm going to try and feed him Grajam. Feed. And it says, no, don't want that. You've just fed me it. No, I didn't. I fed it to the other freaking chap. I, did, I didn't, but it took my freaking grand jam. Took my grand jam, you greedy git. Yeah, so at the moment, it, it, kind of, it kind of feels a bit janky, and I don't know whether it's by design or whether it's a bug. I mean, I thought I wasn't getting my freaking dream error. I thought that was a bug. It's not, that was by design. So who freaking knows these days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Important announcement time, people in the viewer world. The rest of this video is pretty much around the living ships and how the living frigates interact with the living ship in a roundabout way. So if you need a living ship, hit the video in the top right corner. So why is everyone so excited about these living frigates? Well, if you've had a living ship, the living ships have been a bit redundant for the last few years because you couldn't upgrade the technologies inside of them or expand their slottage and you couldn't get scanners. However, sending out a living frigate on a mission with some normal ships, this is how I tend to do it, send one or two living ships, depending on how many you've got, with normal frigates on a mission, they're gonna bring back all the normal stuff that they normally do, the normal ships are, but the living frigates have got a chance to bring back a spawning sack or a cyanotic egg. And yeah, they're gonna give you the technology, the cyanotic eggs, and the actual spawning sacks are gonna give you what you need to up all the storage. And there's a chance, it's a random chance, and it seems to be a lower chance for the spawning sacks to give you the inventory space, and a higher chance for the cyanotic bits. But the cyanotic bits, after you've done all the tech, you can sell them and get a shed load of nanites, so it's pretty darn freaking good anyway. You just sell them to a normal vendor, but they just buy them as if they're normal frigate parts. Anyhow, just send out your actual missions. Like I say, try and sort of accompany a living ship with a normal 
sort of frigate, a uh, living frigate with a normal frigate. And you're going to get a wealth of stuff when you're actually doing all the debriefs. And if you've got a living ship, then hopefully you can use all the tech that these bring back. After you've fully upgraded your living ship, though, is there much point in having the actual living frigates inside your fleet? Not so much. So a lot of people have said, oh, I've got a whole fleet of living frigates now. Well done you. But then after, after you've upgraded your living ship and you've got to the max and you've been getting all of your spawning sacks and your cyanotic eggs, that's all you're going to be really getting from your missions if you're sending out all of these just on freaking missions all the time. Now you might get the odd lovely jubbly thing that's worth a couple of million units or whatever, you know, the rare treasures. But yeah, at the same time, I wouldn't. I would split your fleet. I would have maybe, I don't know, eight to ten of the living frigates and the rest have normal frigates because the normal stuff is probably more useful long game than um, the living stuff anyway i put up a card earlier during my important announcement where you can get your own living ship so here we go you can see here i've fully upgraded my living ship so now i don't really need to send out any more of the living frigate missions so if i do i'm just going to be getting extras of those cyanotic eggs and also the spawning sacks which i tend to give away in the nexus rather than sell or dump or I might split them down and turn them into nanites. So that's that's pretty much the guide there, people. Yeah, so there you go. Hopefully that's given you food for thought. And yeah, good luck out there, viewerverse peoples. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.